Welcome everyone to the video. Today we're going to go over how to do keyword research with ChatGPT. I'm going to go over three different ways to do it in this video. So let's go ahead and get started and not have any delay. So the first way we're going to do it is we're going to actually go to, as everyone knows, Google Keyword uh, Google Keyword Planner. So this is the best way to do key, keyword research. And if you're not familiar with this tool, this is a free tool from Google. Once again, I've always said this in every single one of my videos, but this is the best free way to actually do research with um, Google keywords or to find keywords that you want to go after. So you want to go to Keyword Planner and just type in the keywords that you want to go after. Um, for me, it is, let's just say it's tractors. And uh, the best thing about this is you can actually put in a website to filter out. I might create a tutorial on how to use this tool later on, but really I want to go over, you know, the best free ways to do keyword research. So basically what you can do is when you type in a keyword, it's going to come up with relevant uh, keywords that um, are close to that or that are relevant to that specific keyword. And the great thing about um, this is it actually shows you, you know, obviously keywords, average, average monthly searches, three month change, a uh, year over year change competition. And let's just say, you know, you deal with tractors and you deal with farm uh, equipment and uh, let's say you do farm equipment and um, let's just do lawn mowing. So you can type in up to 10 keywords in there and it'll give you all of these awesome keywords for free. Um, this is, this gives us, gives us over 2,615 words. So this is just really awesome. So like these are keywords you're going to want to check out. The one great thing that a lot of people I don't, I know don't talk about, but one thing that you should definitely keep in mind is this brand branded and non branded keywords. The best thing to do is make sure unless you're selling or have an affiliate market website, the best thing to do is to usually turn off branded keywords because you don't want to go after keywords that other people are going after. So I always turn, um, these brands off. And the other thing is too, it's real retailers. You don't want to go after keywords that retailers are going after because obviously those are keywords that um, are probably more expensive and also people are paying for ads. You want to go after keywords that people don't aren't necessarily looking for a specific product. So the other way to do keyword research is to use this tool called AIPRM, which is a free uh, ChatGPT plugin. And uh, it's a really great thing. The, the thing, the, um, the thing I always use with this is the keyword strategy. So basically what you do is you just um, use this, you uh, you click on this, it, it's basically a prompt. Um, and all you do with this prompt is you just type in your keyword and let's do, tra let's do two tractors again. And it's gonna give you actual keywords, meta descriptions and uh, blog articles you should write. So what's a compact tractor? Now, unfortunately, ChatGPT isn't connected to the actual internet. So it won't actually give you um, if these keywords are relevant, but the best way to do that is you can even just go over to, um, you know, the keyword, you can copy it in here, and then you can just go back to Google Keyword Planner, which is once again, a terrific resource. You could just say, okay, tell me what track, a compact tracker, is that even a relevant keyword? And it actually looks like the competition is very high, so it might not be a good keyword to use, but this actually at least gets you started with um, giving you keywords. Now, another thing that you should be doing is, um, especially when you're looking for keywords, is you want to look at long tail keywords. So what you can do is you can just go into a ChatGPT um, interface and you could just ask it, let's just say, um, uh, give me long tail keywords for the keyword tractor. And the best thing that you can do with ChatGPT is use it experimentally. And what I mean by that is you use it to come up with ideas and then you basically base those ideas based that already started information on fact using something like key, keywords ideas or like an H, H reference or SEMrush or something like that. But these are great. Look at these best compact tractors, um, tractors for sale. And the third, the third way that you can actually look up keywords in ChatGPT is just creating a new chat and just asking it, um, what are some rel, uh, what are some similar, I really, the thing you need to think about is what are some similar things that people would look up for a certain term. So what are some ideas people would search that, um, are close to the keyword tractor. And one thing to always put in is you want to think about intent. So say it has intent with intent. Okay. And so these are different keywords that you can use 
Um, so it looks like it didn't really do very well. Let's just stop this. Some ideas that people might search for we're looking for. So types of tractors. So this is good. Um, so actually, let's just say, um, give us a list of keywords. I spelled keywords wrong. Keywords. Okay. There you go. And there's a great list of keywords. And once again, these are keywords that you can go after and that you can use to increase your blog. So this is a really quick video. I just wanted to put this out. This is something that I've been getting asked about a lot. How do you come up with your keywords? How do you come up with this keyword search? So hopefully you can use this for information, put your questions in the comments below and subscribe to this channel for more awesome ChatGVT AI content.